But when the circle is included, and unlike a square, a circle has no straight edges or corners, right? And so notice the man's feet and hands touch the square's edges when his arms are down and his legs are also together. The square, or rather a square, is four equal sides and right angles. If you paid attention to school, geometry teaches us that a square tends to represent stable measurement because its area is easy to calculate. Think of it as symbolizing the physical world we live in. Our bodies, our bodies include very clear limits. <laughs> we, we know the clear limits to our physical world, gravity or time. The body never goes beyond the square, showing how we're grounded to reality. But when the circle is included, and unlike a square, a circle has no straight edges or corners, right? In geometry, we learn that a circle is defined by a center point and a radius. And it goes on and on and on without a beginning or an end. That's why in geometry, circles are often seen as infinite. So in this drawing, you see the man spread his arms and legs. He fits perfectly inside the circle too, which is, you, would, you may say, even bigger than the square.